Hello, my name is John Caldwell. I'm the Delta V Product Marketing Manager for Virtualization. And I'm here today to tell you about some exciting new virtualization technology and products for Delta V called Delta V Virtual Studio. In many industries, they've already standardized on virtualization. And more and more manufacturers and process companies are turning to virtualization as a way to reduce their cost, to improve their flexibility and productivity, extend the life of their system, as well as improve overall performance, reliability, and availability. With a virtualized system, you can literally start up a new Delta V workstation in a fraction of the time that it takes you to assemble a physical uh, workstation. Also with virtualization in offline training and development systems where often you're starting up new systems and replacing old systems, there's a lot of advantages because you can use the same computer hardware for many different systems, including different releases of Delta V. And that's because the hardware and software are independent in a virtualization environment, which also helps a lot when you're doing system upgrades because you can upgrade your software independent of your hardware and your hardware independent of your software, which makes it a lot easier to do system upgrades. For online production systems, uh, virtualization also provides high availability and disaster recovery technologies that are very important for reliability and availability. Now, we've talked with a lot of customers and part of their concern was that they didn't want the systems to become more complex, difficult to maintain. Uh, also, they didn't want the performance to be anything less than what they're used to with their reliable Delta V systems. So at Emerson, what we've done is we've invested in developing Delta V Virtual Studio to capture these benefits and also address these concerns, making it less complex and easier to maintain. And the way we do that with Delta V Virtual Studio is we have a virtual machine manager application that makes it very easy to connect to the network, set up your network connections, to start up new virtual machines in a fraction of the time that it takes uh, in a physical environment. And we do that using pre-built Delta V templates for all of our workstation types. And with these templates, all you have to do is drag and drop menu selections and no software installation is required. Now we support virtualization for both online and offline use, all the way back to version 9.3. For online, we support all of the Delta V workstations, including operator, application stations, professional stations with AMS, zone servers. Um, for offline, we even provide uh, virtualized controllers and Charms I.O. cards for improving your development and testing productivity. So today, what we're going to show you is a demonstration of a Delta V system that's been virtualized. Uh, that Delta V system uh, in a physical world would consist of a couple of application stations, a Pro Plus, a prof couple of professional stations, a couple of uh, operator stations, as well as some physical controllers as well as some virtual controllers. And so we've put those all together in, in this virtual environment that's implemented uh, in this hardware here where we have a quad monitor for the operator station and that's being driven by a thin client that supports quad monitors. Just to demonstrate connecting to a physical Delta V network, we have a, a controller and Charms I.O. card, uh, an, another thin client and monitor, and then over here we have a new integrated hardware platform using uh, Dell's PowerEdge Vertex uh, Blade server. And it's got four host computers. We're using three of the hosts to run the virtual machines. And it also has an integrated storage area network, uh, which makes it very attractive, both from a footprint, uh, very easy to set up, and uh, very good performance. Uh, we also have a replication server that will be demonstrating some of the disaster recovery capabilities. So that's the demo. First, we'll take a look at what a virtualized Delta V system looks like online. And one thing you'll notice with the virtualized Delta V system is it looks just like a regular Delta V system. Uh, first, we'll take a look at operator display. And we've spent a lot of time uh, researching uh, the performance of uh, operator displays, making sure that the call-up times uh, were as fast as uh, physical systems. Uh, here I'm just selecting a uh, faceplate, uh, changing the mode, making a, uh, a move, putting it back into auto, for example. 
Um, we also did a lot of uh, uh, research on the call-up times for uh, large displays with many different uh, types of data being displayed. Uh, and we're happy to say that in all cases the, the virtualization worked as well, if not better, than the phys physical environments. Um, next, let's take a look at uh, what this system looks like from Delta V Explorer. Uh, and as you can see in Delta V Explorer, we have uh, under our control network, we have all of the different node types, uh, application stations, uh, operator stations, professional stations, our Pro Plus, uh, all of which are virtualized. Uh, we also have a, a physical uh, S-series controller as well as a virtual S-series controller. And under the virtual S-series controller, you can see we have uh, I.O. assignments, both classic I.O. as well as Charms I.O. So that gives you an idea of the configuration that we have for this virtualization environment. And so I'll switch over and uh, look at Th this client called Delta V Virtual Studio. Within Delta V Virtual Studio, you can see that we have all of the host machines uh, identified here. Uh, and in each host machine, it shows the different virtual uh, machines running for the app stations, professional stations. So let's take a look at how easy it is to create a virtual machine within Delta V Virtual Studio. Uh, you would simply uh, select a host that you want it to run on and select Create Virtual Machine. And then from one dialog, uh, we allow you to define everything you need to know to spin up that virtual machine. So for example, if we wanted to create an operator station, uh, we could select what Delta V version we want. Uh, in this demo, I've loaded uh, templates for version uh, 11 and version 12, but we have templates available all the way back to 9.3. Uh, you would specify what node type. Is it a Windows 7 box? Is it a Server 2008 box? Is it a uh, Charms I.O. card or a, a S-series controller for offline uh, systems. In this case, we'll, we'll create an operator station based on a Windows 7 uh, box. And we have to point it to uh, our configuration file, that is the CFG file that uh, is the placeholder we created in Delta V Explorer. Uh, you would select what uh, node name you want and then fill out the Delta V admin password information. The only thing uh, remaining is uh, to establish your network connections, which these we defined on our host computer, so it's very easy to just drop down menu and connect. Um, if you're interested in advanced features, um, you can also come in and specify uh, the amount of memory available, the number of processors. Uh, if you're in a high availability environment, you can enable failover uh, and auto restart and specify what your backup uh, failover machines are. And we'll talk about that in a, uh, another video on high availability and disaster recovery. Now, for a demonstration like this, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to create an operator station just because it's about a 15 gigabyte uh, virtual machine file. But what we can demonstrate uh, is a smaller virtual machine. So for example, if we created a, a S-series controller for our test and development lab, we could come in, select the node type, specify the node name, we'll call it S-controller-JC. Uh, uh, specify the network connection. In this demonstration, I only have a primary network. And so what it's doing now is it's copying over this uh, virtual machine template for the S-series controller. It's adding the IP address, the MAC address, uh, the node name, and then it's spinning it up and adding it to the Delta V network. And it'll appear in Delta V just like you went and plugged in a new controller card within Delta V. So if we pop over back to our uh, professional station, which we can view from this same thin client, and we look under the decommissioned nodes, what we'll see is a new virtual controller pop up, just like a physical controller, um, uh, that uh, we created from those templates. Okay, so here's our virtual S-series controller that Delta V's seen, and we could drag and drop that to our control network, and it would behave just like a, a normal S-series controller. So I hope that gave you some idea of how easy it is to create new virtual machines within Delta V Virtual Studio. Uh, we do support both online and offline, back to version 9.3. If you'd like more information, uh, I encourage you to visit our website at deltav.com 
or look for part two of this video where we'll look at some more advanced features for high availability, disaster recovery, and our integrated virtualization hardware platform. Thank you. Thank you.